Now, in this video, we are going to cover another very important aspect of basic programming that is the operators. Like when I have already got the data in different data types, it's time to do some operations. Like we have already used one assignment operator which we have seen which is used to assign the value from the right hand side to the left hand side. And apart from that, in the nullable operators, we have seen one double question mark that is the coalescing operator. Now here, we will cover some more operators. So basically, as we know, operators are something which is a symbolic representation of any task which is to be performed. And you can classify these operators in various types like arithmetic operator, relational and comparison operators or logical operators. So let's see what about all these operators like first of all we will start with the arithmetic operators. In the data types we have seen some structures like integer, float, decimal, long which takes the numerical data either in decimal or non-decimal format. So once we have got the data, how we can do the arithmetic operations? By using these different operators like plus, minus, multiplication, division and modulus which takes care of the remainder part. Along with that, we will also cover the plus plus and minus minus symbol which is used to increase or decrease the value by 1. Now, let's have a look for the relational or comparison operators. As here you can see, we have these 6 operators like whenever we want to compare two values whether they are equal, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to or less than, equal to. So we can use these operators in order to make some comparisons in the values. Whenever you will do a comparison, either the comparison will be true or false. That means it will always return a boolean value. Now let's finally have a look for these logical operators. Generally if I talk about AND and OR operator, they will be used to merge or I should say combine multiple conditions which are returning the booleans. So logical operators are the operators which deals with oper which deals with the boolean and returns a boolean. So here we have AND and OR which are doing the same things and one NOT operator which will simply convert the TRUE to FALSE and FALSE to TRUE. But what about the AND and OR? Let's see. So let's start with the arithmetic operator. As here you can see in this example I have used all the five arithmetic operators that is plus, minus, multiplication, division and modulus. So these will do all the relative operations like adding to number, subtracting, multiplication, dividing and getting the quotient part and again dividing which will get, give the remainder part. Alright, so as the values are 50 and 10, these will be the output. Alright, so 50 plus 10, 50 minus 10, 50 into 10, 50 divided by 10, 5 in the quotient, 0 in the remainder. So this is how you can use these arithmetic operators in a very basic way. If you put multiple operators in the same line, for example, as here, there are three variables a, b and c having the respective values and now I have used two different operators that is plus and multiplication. So the precedence of multiplication is always higher than plus so b will be multiplied with c first of all that is 20 into 5 and then it will be added by a that is plus 10. So if I'll print the value of d here you will get 110 that is 20 into 5 is 100 and plus 10 it's 110. So on the basis of pr precedence only the multiple operators will get executed. But if multiple operators of same precedence will be there in one expression like this where I have used division and multiplication operator both which have the same set of precedence. So here if I will print this one I will get a very different result that is 0 
Actually, I'm trying to get find the percentage. So here I'm using integers 72 divide by 80, which will give you something in decimal. And since it is integer, it will not consider the decimal part. So it will just multiply zero with the hundred and the output will be zero itself. If I will have to change the precedence in a correct way, I will do it like max marks, sorry, marks into hundred divide by max. So firstly, 72 into 100, that is 7200 divided by 80, and then I will get the exact output, that is 90. So this is how you can manage working with the arithmetic operators according to their precedence and associativity. As for arithmetic operators, the associativity will go from left to right. Now, in the expressions like this where you can find like first of all I have initialized a with 10 and then a is equal to a plus 5 so what does it mean is the current value of a will be added to 5 that is 15 and that will be the new value of a so ultimately you are increasing the value of a by 5 and when you will print this you will get 15 for the same this expression, I can also use the shorthand operators which will be like plus equals to 5 which means the same that is a is equal to a plus 5 and very similarly you can use plus equals to minus equals to multiplication and division for all. The output will remain same. But if this increment or decrement is fixed that it will be happened for one time only then I can make it even shorter that is a plus plus and as soon as I will see this plus plus or minus minus operator these are the unary operator that means only one operand will be there so this a is an operand and a plus plus will increase the value by one like this now these operators comes in two different varieties that is the pre-increment and post-increment. To explain this in a better way let me take one more variable that is b and what I will do is I will do b is equal to plus plus a and right after this I will print the value of a and b both. When a will be initialized 10 will come inside and before a is getting assigned to B, one increment will take place because it is pre-increment. Pre-increment means increment will be before the assignment. So A will be incremented by 1, that is A will become 11 and after that increment it will get assigned to B so that B will also get 11. If I will do it post-increment, that means the increment will take place later later means after the assignment so i initialized a with 10 and then in this particular line b is equal to a plus plus that means first of all a will get assigned to b before increment so currently a value is 10 and that 10 will come to b and after that this increment will take place so Increment will only occur in A, that is A will become 11, but B will remain 10 only because value assigned in B was before the increment. So here you can see like A is 11 while B is still 10. And very similarly, you can do the same operations for minus minus also in case of pre and post increment. Now let's start for the comparison operators as here you can see I have used all the six comparison operators greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to equals to and not equals to so a is 50 B is 20 and if you will compare that a is greater than 20 that is a true result because yes a is greater than B so Whenever you will use this relational or comparison operators, it will always return a boolean value. So in this particular case, I will get a true because this comparison is giving you the true.
true result but if i will say a is less than b which actually it's not so it will give you a false the difference between the greater than and greater than equal to is for example b is also 50 so obviously a is greater than b will give you a false because 50 is not greater than 50 but if you will apply greater than or equal to that means either a should be greater than or it should be equal to so in both the situations it will return you a true but now since a is already greater than b so it will give me true and similarly the same case situation will be with this less than equal to and less than also so it will also give you a false this single equal to operator is always used as an assignment operator where the right hand side value gets assigned to the left hand side but in this particular situation when we are using the double equals to that means we are comparing whether these two are equal or not so if these two are equal we will set a true but since here the value of a and value of b are not equal so in this situation we will get a false and it will compare whether a should not be equal to b and yes in this situation these are not equal so it will give you a true so this is what our output should be true false true false false true okay and that's what we predicted true false true false false true now you can also use these boolean things in your ternary operator where you will get three operands that is this is the first operand combinedly this is the second operand and this is the third operand and this question mark and colon comprises the ternary operator where the first operand must be a boolean as here you can see I am doing the arithmetic operation that is I am comparing whether the mod of this number is 0 or not if it will give you a true the second operand will be assigned to this if it will return a false the third operand will be assigned to this variable so let's print s right here so in this current situation 46 mod 2 will be 0 so the second operand which is even will be here in this s and we will get even in the result but if it is some odd number where the mod will not be 0 and this condition will be false you will get this third operand in this s so s will get the the odd so this is how you can work with these ternary operators as well now let's have a look for this logical operators so these logical operators like and and or will be used for combining multiple conditions which will already giving you a boolean so in case of and when both the conditions are giving you the true only then you will get a true result if either condition or both conditions are false then the resultant will be false only whether in or operator only the whether in or operator if both conditions or either of the conditions are true it will give you a true result but in case when both the conditions are giving you the false only then you will get the false result so let me run this and you can see it very clearly in the first statement of and where both the conditions are true we are getting a true otherwise everywhere it's false and in a very opposite manner in the last statement only we are getting a false but in case any condition is returning you true the or will return a true let's find another example for the same as here you can see i am take i have taken two variables that is username and password and i am comparing username should be equal to anadi and password should be equal to tutorials point as you can see it is and operator so both must be true in order to get the result welcome user because when both the conditions will be true only then this and will return a true and the second operand will work as we have already discussed the ternary operator 
but if anything either username or password will be incorrect or both will be incorrect then we will get the message invalid user so let's see how it will work so I will enter anadi and tutorials point so I get the message welcome user but if I will enter some wrong information like entered I entered username correctly but password not correctly so it is invalid user so it all depends on you whether you want all the conditions should be true or one of them accordingly you can choose and or or operator